a Christmas without a roast? Sounds strange. So we are going to do a lovely roast, but we're going to do it Indian style. We're going to do it Goan style. We're going to do a lovely chicken kafriyal. Pan roasted, juicy, very tasty. I've got the winglets off and I need to get the gizzard off. You have to get all the entrails of the chicken. Now what we're going to do is cut the chicken right in half. You need to cut this part so that the entire masala can go inside and sit with the chicken. What I'm going to do is just first marinate the chicken with a bit of salt. Go with some lemon juice right on. Now I'm going to add a little bit of ginger garlic paste. So I'm going to keep them in the fridge for about half an hour to 45 minutes. And now the kafriyal masala which is a little spicy but it's really nice. So I've got about 6 to 7 green chilies. We're going to take about 4 to 5 cloves. A teaspoon of black peppercorn. A teaspoon of jeera. Just a couple of cinnamon. I'm just going to break it. Got some fresh ginger, about 8 to 10 cloves of garlic, fresh again. About a bunch of coriander leaves, some poppy seeds or couscous as you call it. And finally, some tamarind pulp. We're going to add a little bit of water and make a fine blend of all these. Now this is going to be a green paste. It's about half an hour. The chicken's got marinated with some salt, lemon juice and ginger garlic paste. I've got my kafriyal paste ready. Now I'm just going to marinate the chicken once again and keep it for about an hour. Alright, it's been an hour. The chicken is marinated well and I'm sure the chicken is already flavorful. So if you have a large grill pan, I would ideally do that in one pan at one go, but I don't have one. So I've got these two pans. I'm gonna do two chickens simultaneously. So what we've done here is we've put the skin side down first. And as you can see, the chicken is already getting a nice golden brown color. About eight to 10 minutes on each side is good cooking. I've got some boiled potatoes. I'm gonna cut them in wedges, plonk these boiled potatoes right onto the pan. Crisp with the chicken along with the juices, all the flavors are together. I don't want to waste this marinade, so I'm going to keep basting it with more marinade so that, you know, the flavors don't get wasted. I need this to kind of become a slight gravy along. And on my last pan, I'm going to do all the other veggies. All right, the pan is hot. I'm going to add some zucchini, roughly cut, some peppers, some diced onions, and some capsicum. Just going to lightly season them. And the quarters of tomatoes into the pan and just get these vegetables nicely sorted, just about crisp, a little bit cooked, not completely cooked because these are going to become the base of the chicken kafriyal. Beautiful. Now 
because this is chicken with bone and we are cooking it on a pan and this is not going to see an oven at all. So what I recommend is cover it with a lid, simmer it, just gently let it cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. Make sure that you keep twisting it and turning it because you don't want one side of the chicken to get burned because it's got some very beautiful flavors happening inside. I'm just going to line these veggies up, just like an army. That is definitely a winner. We got these lovely roast potatoes with the kafriyal masala. And these needs to be the last thing on the plate. Have loads of fun this Christmas. Merry Christmas everybody, because I am going to enjoy some chicken kafriyal. Merry Christmas.